My name is Nicodemus Mengi. I lecture at the Faculty of IT, Strathmore University, and I happen to be the head of the Strathmore Research uh, Lab, which is a HP-funded lab. It's a collaboration between four partners. There is the Ministry of Health, there is HP, there is the Clinton Health Access Initiative, and Strathmore University. So the idea behind the lab is uh, about four years ago, in 2010, we were trying to look at how we would, you know, find a way of engaging academia and industry in a win-win setup such that, number one, we can have students who are grown with skills to solve industry problems, real problems, and number two, to find a way of also trying to respond to industry needs, to know what the industry requires. So I'm Rufus Mbogwa, working at the Strathmore HP Research Lab. Um, I deal with software development. Currently I'm working on the maternal and neonatal health and child health system. That's dealing with uh, health care for both mothers and for children in facilities all around Kenya. So the survey is run in the facilities, then the data is collected and analyzed later to find out what the facilities have and what they don't have so that inter interventions can now take place. The question was at that time, in looking at NASCOP, NASCOP is the body that is mandated to manage HIV AIDS for both infants and adults in Kenya. The, the challenge was to reduce the amount of time it took when a sample is sent to the lab for analysis, to the time we actually inform the patient that look, the infant or the caregivers that this kid is HIV positive, then we put them in treatment. Professionally, I've learned how to work with deadlines and how to translate a need into something that's actually going to work and going to solve that need. And personally, the system goes beyond the screen, the computer screen, because you have to think of the users who are going to use the system and the lives that are being saved by the system. We've done a number of other solutions. The Health Commodities Management Platform, which is a supply chain. They basically manage commodities in facilities, uh, managing their consumption, uh, generating automatically their orders, um, it also is used in updating deliveries. Basically, the ministry and the counties can actually know where the commodities are. We can be able to forecast in a given county how much they require, uh, where which facilities use these commodities. By helping them manage their stocks, uh, there's transparency on how, uh, how they're using their stock levels. There is easy management of expiries and also products which are being shifted between one facility to another. From the moment we decided to adopt students, we take them to the ground where the action happens, in the lab, in the field, and they get to interact with the users, the patients, and they learn, they realize we, we actually are in the business of saving lives. Yeah. So an interesting thing in, in picking students is to actually realize a guy comes out of the classroom and tomorrow he is presenting a tool he has developed to a county team, to the ministry, to different partners. And interesting thing, the tool is live. Every time it goes down, we have sleepless nights. Uh, the experience has been uh, an up and down challenge. Uh, we found out that in the supply chain there is no distinct clear-cut way of how the supply chain is supposed to be done. Uh, I've also learned that uh, when I'm working with uh, health facilities in particular, you need to have PR relationships with them uh, because you might make a system that's perfect, that's working okay, but you get someone who's not IT survey and then you need to teach them how to uh, use the computer. So it has also been um, an interesting journey such that I got to apply what I learned in class in my workplace and I'll say at the end of it I'll say I'm a better person because uh, I'm helping the country achieve 2030 goals. Under this collaboration, we are also now looking at providing bursaries, scholarships for needy cases, so that on the one part, we are providing solutions for local problems in the health sector to begin with, and we are using uh, needy cases as in students, whether needy or not needy, but in, the, in this case, people who are able to understand and deliver solutions. So from a perspective of Strathmore, trying to improve the quality of education in the country, the opportunity comes in through Clinton Health Access Initiative, Ministry of Health, HP, 
As we develop solutions, we are meeting our mandate of delivering quality education to Kenyans. I'd like to thank Strathmore University for giving us an environment where we can learn and also we can implement the solutions we're doing. And also I'd like to thank HP for their continuous support in providing hardware and other facilitation.